The Shure SM7B, likely the most used mic by YouTubers, podcasters, presenters, and for a very good reason, it's a great mic. So if you're just starting out, you're thinking about getting one, maybe you've even got one, but you're just a little bit unsure how to set it up correctly. So it sounds good and not like you've just gone and wasted like 400 bucks. By the end of this short video, you're going to know how. Now, reality check. And this may seem obvious for some of you, but you can't just plug this mic into your computer. You're going to need some other, some other bits. So as we go through setting this up, I'll tell you what you need and I'll put links in the description too. So let's get to it. Now, first off, you're going to need a way to mount the mic. Personally, I like a boom arm like the Rode PSA1. It's well made, will last for years. So I'll just fix that to my desk like that. You're also going to need a little extender tube like this, which makes it a lot easier to plug in the cable. And this extender screws to the mic arm like that. And then the mic, that just screws into the bottom of the tube. Next, we need to plug in our XLR cable to the mic and then clip the cable to the mic arm just so it's out of the way. Now next, we need a way to get our XLR cable from the mic into the computer and the cheapest way to do this is with an audio interface something like the the focus 2i2 the cable from the mic plugs into the front of the interface like this and then the interface just connects to your computer via usb but here's the reality of it the sure sm7b is really gain hungry now to put this into simple terms you need to crank the input volume all the way up on the focus right to get it so it's loud enough and that's going to give us a problem as we increase the volume we also increase the noise and you didn't spend all this money to have poor sounding audio so what we need to do we need to use a little black box called a toner and it's a preamp now what this will do it will boost the volume without boosting the noise so we get a nice clean audio at the right level there are other preamps on the market products like the like the cloud lifter but the cloud lifter is like 100 bucks more and for the life of me i can't see why the cloud lifter is more expensive than this toner the toner gives an extra 20 db of gain and gain is just a fancy word for volume at like 60 bucks this unit is great value it's all metal it's actually quite heavy really well made and it does the job perfectly so save yourself 100 bucks why not so we take the audio cable from the mic and we plug it into the toner then we plug another cable into the other end and then plug that into the focus right and the focus right of course that's plugged into my computer via usb now normally this mic the sm7b doesn't require power to run it but the preamp does it requires what's called phantom power so all i have to do is turn on phantom power by hitting the little button on the focus right. The light on the toner turns on to show it's getting power. And now, my mic is connected. The toner preamp will now boost our volume without adding noise to the audio. Now, if you're enjoying this getting value, don't forget to hit the like button. Maybe even subscribe. I do enjoy making these videos and it really lights me up when people, when people thank me. Anyway, next with all that set up, we need to position the mic. Now notice I've got the mic quite close and with mics like the SM7B you can actually get right down on the mic. These mics have what is called a proximity effect. The closer you get the more bass you have. If I just move away slightly and talk you can hear the difference. I like to position the mic at a 45 degree angle. That way, the air from my mouth is not hitting the mic directly and causing what we call plosives. That's a popping sound that you get when you say B's and T's. Sounds pretty bad. Now all we have to do is set the volume. Now we don't want it too loud. If it's too loud, your audio is going to distort. So as I'm talking into the mic, I'm looking at the little green ring on the focus right. And I don't want that light going into the red. I want it just to like tickle the orange. As I'm talking, maybe a fraction louder than what I'd normally talk at, I just want to adjust the volume just until it just tickles the orange. Then I'm just going to back it off just a fraction. Now this mic is set up perfectly. There you go. Your mic is all set up and you're ready to wow your audience. Now, 
if you want to know how to connect this mic directly to your camera so you don't have to mess about syncing your video and your audio you're going to want to watch this video next anyway i hope this helps until next time bye for now